Extender Configurator for Sage 300 allows you to create logs, alerts and notifications, workflows and track approvals, create ORCID notes, and create triggers for custom code for integration purposes. This video concentrates on creating ORCID notes with Extender Configurator Edition. When using Extender in conjunction with ORCID Notes, you can configure Extender to create a note automatically when an event happens. And then you can configure the ORCID Notes to show that automatically created note on any screen where you want to see that information. So in this example, we're going to configure Extender to automatically create a note each time the customer's credit limit is changed and then we will configure Information Manager to show that note against the OE Order Entry screen, the Project and Job Costing Contract screen, and in RMA when you're entering an RMA. In this database, we have installed and activated Extender and Information Manager. And from a license point of view, Information Manager is licensed to run notes as well as the other Information Manager modules, Optional Tables, Database Views, Report Runner and Document Management Link. But for this demonstration, it's notes that's important here. So in order to get Information Manager to automatically create a note, the first thing we need is a message template for the note. So this one's going to be our customer credit limit note. And just pasting from Notepad. The note is going to read customer, the ID of the customer, the name of the customer. The credit limit has changed from the original credit limit amount to the current amended credit limit amount. The change was done by this user doing this operation, whether it was an insert or an update, and the date and time of that particular change. And before we create the event in Extender and associated with customers, we need to configure our notes. The first thing we need in notes is a color to be associated with our customer notes. So we wish our customer notes to be a light blue. And then we need a note type. As we will be only maintaining one note, we're not adding a new one each time the customer's credit limit changes, we can leave that saying no and we associate it with our customer color. Then we need a role. And here we can specify who can add, view, edit and delete the notes. And then we need to assign our users to the roles. So we're going to use Steve and Sue and we're going to assign them to our customer notes. And back in Extender, we can now create ourselves an event for our customer credit limit notes. And this action is to create an information manager note. The note type is our customer credit limit note and we need to specify which key is going to be used to populate the note. And this will be the key, the primary key of our customer view. And the note template is the customer credit limit note that we created previously. And we can open that up to check it. So once we have our event type, we now need to go and attach this event type to our customer view. And the AR customer view is AR24. And we had previously configured the credit limit to be logged, but now we're going to add a second event to the credit limit field.
and the event we're going to attach is the customer credit limit note. And connecting to the database as Susan, when she goes to the AR customer and changes the credit limit, the customer credit limit note is maintained automatically. And we can see that in our Information Manager transactions. And we can see the note that was created. Customer 1200, Mr. Ronald Black, the credit limit was changed from 25,000 to 30,000. And it was done by Susan doing an update on the customer's record. And it was done at 11 minutes past nine on the 23rd of the 3rd. And if we want to see this note against the RMA screen, the OE order entry screen, and the PJC contract screen, we first need to get the details of those screens for our configuration. So in order entry, the field that we're configuring for is customer NO full stop, and the roto ID is OE1100. In project and job costing, the contract maintenance screen the field is called customer number on the contract maintenance screen and the ID is PM1010 and in return material authorizations the RMA screen is RA1001 and the customer number field is customer number. The configuration for notes and which screens they're displayed for is done in the options on the notes DML extender tray tab. And here's the workflow icons that we had configured earlier. But for our notes, we configure the type as a note, the roto ID, so we'll do order entry first, the field label, so an OE, it's customer no full stop. The note type, which is our customer credit limit note. Whether we display all first or last, we only ever have one, so it's the same thing. We're not going to change our tray icon, which is this icon here. We, we're only going to show it in the alert and the title is going to be credit limit. Similarly, for the RMA screen, we're configuring to show a note. The RMA screen is RA1001, and the field label is customer number. The note we're going to configure is the customer credit limit note, show all alerts, notification method is none, the alert box we're going to show the alert and we're going to title it customer credit limit. And our final configuration is going to be for PJC. So we're going to show a note and the PJC screen number is PM1010. The field label is customer number. And the note type is our customer credit limit note. Show all notes, no notification. We'll show the alert and the heading is customer credit limit.
and logging in to Sage 300 as Susan. When she goes to the order entry screen and views an order for customer 1200, the notice shown colored in blue as we configured. Similarly for the RMA transactions, The notice shown and for the PJC contract maintenance screen too. Using Extender Configurator Edition you can create alerts log interactions and trigger integration. Please see our website orchid.systems for additional videos in these features of Extender Configurator. You can also create workflows for master files, transactions and batches and for advanced conditional notifications and you will find videos on these features as well on our website orchid.systems. In this video we have just reviewed how to create Orchid notes using Extender Configurator Edition and then how you can view those auto-generated notes on Sage 300 screens.